Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you have completed the connection, either you connected one of four ways, either Ethernet, Wi-Fi, WPS, or Android device, either way, if you are already connected to the internet, then this is the getting started video. We're gonna show you how to use the tools on your Miracle Box. Now, depending on how you're connected, everyone's screen will look different. If you already have the Google account and recommendations on, you will have stuff up here. If you do not, you won't have anything up there. It doesn't mean your Miracle Box is broken. It simply means that you just have not connected your Gmail account. So the first thing that we wanna do is we need to organize this so that we have a good, clean flow. Now, Miracle Box does give you the freedom to be able to organize your media center as you see fit. With that freedom also comes great responsibility, right? It sounds like a, um, I'm giving a, a heroic speech. Well, what that means is that organize these apps in a way that you can get to them quickly, that they have a really good flow. And I know everyone is gonna have their opinions or they're gonna have their own way of doing things, which is why we give you the freedom to do whatever you want. But I'm just gonna give you some hints on how to be efficient in using everything all together. So let's begin. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna find the media center. All right, now, when you find the media center, you wanna press and hold the OK button. If you tap it, it's gonna open it up. You do not wanna tap it, you wanna press and hold it like this. See, I press and hold. Now, if you tap it, it's gonna open up the media center, you're gonna get a blue Cody, and you're gonna to have to kind of get out of that, but if you hold it, you should see this screen right here. Now this will allow me to control this and move it anywhere I want. In this particular case, I'm gonna be using this a lot, you are gonna be using this a lot as well, so we wanna move it somewhere close to where it's like the first thing on our screen. So I'm gonna press OK, and then I can actually go and get another app and move it close. The next thing I wanna do is move over the Miracle app. So I'm gonna press OK, it's gonna highlight that one, and I'm gonna move this over close as well. Now, if you pay attention to what I'm doing, I'm putting all the relevant uh, Miracle Box apps in one place so I can get to them quickly. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna move over our memory organizer. And again, you can move these anywhere you want. You can move them, you can have the media center down or whatever. I'm just doing it this way, but you can move them how you feel comfortable moving them. But I just suggest putting them all in one place so you can get to them. Obviously, I'm gonna move my speed test. Now, whatever you do, don't move these down because it will trash the apps. You will have to do a uh, factory reset to get them all back. So don't move them in the trash because that means it will uninstall them. So make sure you are moving them closely. So I'm gonna go back out here and get the uh, Team Viewer app. Now, this is good in case you need technical support and we can remote into your unit and help you. Then I'm gonna go all the way over here. I'm gonna get the Web Browser app. I'm gonna press okay. Then I'm gonna go all the way over here and get my APK installer app. I'm definitely gonna need that. And I'm gonna get my app toy TV. We'll explain why you need that. And so for me, I'm done. So I'm gonna click okay. And this is the ideal setup. Why? Because whenever I turn my Miracle Box on, I have my media center, I have my my Miracle app, I have my memory optimizer, I have my web browser, I have my team view, and I have my, my speed test because I can, I can use these a lot and I have my app installer. So what we need to do is we need to begin to download the tools and the resources to the Miracle Box. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Miracle app, we're gonna press OK, and this is what you wanna do right out the gate. Now you don't need to install Kodi, you already have the best version on it already. So you wanna go down and install Miracle Build, you wanna press OK, and it's gonna ask you uh, local or remote, you wanna hit remote, you wanna press OK, and you wanna let this install on your Miracle Box. We're installing the Media Center, so it will begin to install. Depending on your speed, this could take anywhere from five minutes to 10 minutes, depending on which speed you're running. So once this is done installing, we're gonna come back and show you the rest. Okay, folks, once that has finished installing, it's gonna say Kodi Data Successfully Restored. You're gonna press okay. The next thing you're gonna do is move down to update Miracle Build. This is going to install the APKs on your Miracle Box 4.0. So you're gonna press okay, and we're gonna press remote, and this should be relatively quick. This shouldn't take too long. And what we're doing is we're installing all of the 
really cool, amazing APKs that will allow us to access different streaming resources such as movies and TV shows on demand. So we're going to install all of those and um, they're going to be on there. Now, you may have questions. What if I have Netflix? What if I have Hulu? If you're choosing to keep those, you, you can still keep them on here. You can get them. Uh, you won't lose any of that. But you may find some of the same content on our apps for free and you may be able to save yourself a monthly bill of paying for those things but it's your personal preference if you want to keep your netflix and hulu you can keep it if you don't want to keep it you can still watch everything on netflix and hulu without having to have to pay for a subscription so um, we're going to show you that in a later video anyway once you've installed everything then you should be pretty much good to go and we want to make sure everything installed which it did now press home now once you press home the next thing you want to do is you want to go over to app installer this is why the app installer is very important so go over to app installer or i'm sorry apk installer i apologize go over to apk installer hit ok and everything that we pretty much have loaded should be on here we're going to wait for it to load and again you definitely want to install all of this stuff here so again, now uh, you can back out of here and you wanna just install everything here because these are tools you're gonna to need. And this is the Cinema HD, this is the file link, this is the Mobjo MX Player, Streamio, and everything else you'll need. So again, you wanna install these and maybe by the time you get this video, we're probably gonna have another app that you can install that blocks ads. So it's gonna be called Blockada. So we uh, may have you install that as well. So we're gonna start off using uh, cinema, start installing Cinema HD. We're going to click that. We're going to hit install. And don't worry, in a later video, we're going to show you how to set up each one of these apps so you can use it. So we're going to hit done. Then you're going to go down to file linked. We want to install that. A lot of you have been using that to get really cool uh, applications. And again, you can use it you know, to do that now. And you can also use it to install some of the live services that we offer. So you're going to hit install, get your file link store on there. So yes, file link does come on your MiracleBox 4.0. Going to hit done. Next, we're going to go down to, now you can install Mobdra if you want to. Um, it's just a free live TV app. It does not work the greatest. I don't like it, but some people love it. So that's just my opinion. But again, we're here to just give you as many resources and let you evaluate what you love and what you don't love. So we're going to hit install. We're going to install Mobdro. And again, we do have live services that we're going to talk about in another video. In another video, So don't worry about trying to figure that stuff out now. We're going to get to it later. So now we're going to definitely want to install the MX Player Pro. MX Player is a amazing video player. And again, this is a must install. I think every unit should have this by default. Most of them don't. By default, this is a must if you're going to have a video player. Then we're going to install Streamio. I think that's another great movie app here. I'm going to hit that to install. And again, we're just, all of this is really easy. You're not programming anything, you're just clicking buttons. So again, don't make this too difficult because it's pretty easy. There's nothing you have to type in. You just hit okay we're going to install ttv now and you just go install and just make sure you got everything installed and once you do then you're pretty much good so this is the last one it's called ttv we did a review on it earlier a lot of you loved it so uh, this is available on the miracle box 3.0 and 4.0 so we're going to hit done so now we've installed everything and we can hit the home button or the android button and so now we got everything installed all we want to do now is go to Open Media Center, and it's going to run the 17.6 version of Kodi. Now, people say, why don't we have 18.1? 18.1 has some stability issues right now. It doesn't work with everything, and um, we don't, we're not going to put something out that's going to give you trouble. So some people will do it. Some people don't. We don't want something that's not going to work with everything. 17.6 is stable, and it's proven, so we're going to keep it. And plus, this is our custom version of 17.6. So once you've done everything, put your remote down, give it 30 seconds to kick in. You're going to see all of the Miracle Box things kind of come in. You're going to see the 
bottom of the screen. Uh, messages are going to always be at the bottom. So if anything is going on, make sure you read the bottom. That's where messages are going to be at. Again, there is our MiracleBox Wizard cleaning packages, cleaning up everything, making sure everything that's installed is clean and is efficient. That's what the wizard does. And again, you are now successfully using all the MiracleBox tools. You have them installed. And in the coming videos, we're gonna talk about how to set up each one of these tools we just installed. So for now, folks, uh, go to the next video and you'll see videos on Cinema HD. You'll see videos on TTV, Streamio, and you'll learn about each one of these apps you just install as well as the file link one. So thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching and make sure you are on our support site and make sure you subscribe to our channel so you never miss any one of these tutorial videos.